Ladies and gentlemen, you know the low birth rate continues on in America and there's no turning it around. You know, they always tell you once you get past the 2.1 uh, rate that it should be at, you know, for replacement, once you fall below that, it's pretty much a done deal for a population. And you can see U.S. birth rate falls for fourth year in a row. Fewer teens having babies, bad news. We're not having enough babies to replenish the population. And this is not everybody. These are white babies. So this came out in BC News, November 27th, 2019. A final tally of babies born in the U.S. last year confirms that the birth rate fell again in 2018, reaching the lowest level in more than three decades. The report from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention National Center for Health Statistics finds there were 3,791,712 births registered in the United States in 2018, down 2% from 2017. And when you are already in a low birth rate, you can't afford to lose any percentages. A closer look at the data suggests that Americans are not having enough babies to sustain a population. So the total fertility rate for 2018 was one uh, I'm sorry, 1,729.5 births per 1,000 women age 15 to 44. The fertility rate refers to how many children women have overall. Birth rate refers to how many children women have in a single year. But in order for the nation to reproduce its population and remain stable, the CDC says there would need to be 2,100 births per 1,000 women. Well, you're not getting anywhere near that. So the birth rate is at a 1.7 in the U.S. That means each woman needs to have at least two babies to replace fathers and mothers, as well as account for extra deaths. The data also shows that women are waiting longer to have children. Birth rates among women in their 20s and early 30s declined, but they started to increase slightly among women 35 to 44. The teen birth rate for girls between ages of 15 and 19 fell 7% from 18.8 births per 1,000 women in 2017 to 17.4 uh, births per 1,000 in 2018. But I, yeah, I don't see a lot of pregnant teenagers anymore. I saw a lot more when I was growing up, but certainly don't see very many today. Fewer babies are being born to smoking mothers. Of the women who gave birth in 2018, 6.5% reported using a tobacco product, a 6% decline from 2017. The downward trend was noted among white women, Black women, and Hispanic women and fewer babies are being born via cesarean section. The C-section delivery fell slightly in 2018 to 31.9% from 32% the year before. You know, I'm not surprised, y'all. I'm not surprised. All I can do is tell you when I go out in public, I do not see. Now, I have to tell you, I do see pregnant black and Hispanic women, but it is a rare, rare occasion for me to be out. Even if I cross over to a town that has more white people and I'm over there in a store, 
I don't see that many pregnant white women. You might find one out of the crowd, but black and Hispanic women, I can go to my dentist and I can go to the doctor's office and I'll see a pregnant woman in there. I always see them. Things definitely have changed when it comes down to the population in America. Even growing up and looking at um, like the children in my township, they had to close schools because there's not that many children in the township. When I was growing up, all of the schools in the township had to be open because it was a lot of children. Man, you couldn't turn the corner without seeing children all over the place. It was just so many. But now, you know, you would look around in many of the towns, you got a big elderly population of people in these towns and, and very few children. I noticed a shift actually probably like the mid 90s. You know, I even noticed, um, even with my son, I noticed there were far fewer children even in his classroom in public school. Shoot, we used to have children busting from the scene. Uh, it, it, sometimes it would be 30 children when you start the school year. And then, of course, you know, people move and you'll lose a few children along the way. You know, um, a lot of times it was families moving. But we always had a healthy amount of children in the classroom. But now I notice even when I watch these kids walk into school, we used, it used to be droves of children walking past the house in the morning. Now, I'm telling you, it's almost like it's a, like a smidgen amount of children <laughs> walking past the house. So it, you definitely see a smaller amount of children in the morning even passing by. So it may depend on where you are in the country, but I know where I am, it has certainly changed a lot, a, a, a lot. I mean, it, it, if you saw what it was like then compared to today, it, it would be so different, like night and day. Another thing, we used to have uh, birth announcements in the paper and you would just look in the paper and you would see a whole list. It used to, the list used to be long at one time of all the births at the local hospital. It used to be a long list, y'all. Now, that list doesn't even go down a full column in the paper. But I remember when we first moved to the township, the list would be so long, it would go on for sometimes two pages of how many births were at the hospital for the month or, or the birth announcements. And you would just see all the names. It would just go on and on and on. Not anymore. Not anymore. If, if it's longer than a column, that's shocking. So things are certainly changing. And I think a lot of people feel these changes happening. We can physically see the changes. And I think it's also on a very spiritual level. You, your spirit knows something has changed and it is just not the same. And I don't anticipate life to be the same in America. I really think that the way we see things now is going to decline even more. How do you keep a place going when you're going to have so few of a population when the baby boomers are gone? The po you know how many empty homes are going to be? They're already talking about that. There's going to be a lot of empty homes on the economy. Because the younger generations, it's not enough of them to take all of these homes from baby boomers. So 
you know, we look at this kind of stuff over in Japan where they got communities of empty homes. But, you know, that's coming to America too. It is. You know, there are many towns across America that have a lot of elderly people. Sometimes the whole block is full of elderly people. I know that's the way it was when my grandmother was still living. The majority of the people on her street were all elderly and they had lived there for years. And a lot of the younger people, they left out of there because they wanted to get good paying jobs. And I can see that becoming a lot more widespread around the country. And there's already articles coming out talking about the rural areas are already in a recession. And some areas never leave the recession. They're always in a recession. That's a lot to be said. America's in trouble, y'all. Because if you can't replenish your population, there is no future. You have no future if you don't have babies. You literally do not have one. That's why all of these people are running around here losing their minds because they know what's coming. They know it. They can feel it. They can see it. But this is a global thing. Same thing is happening over in China and all over Europe, Australia. You know, I was reading even some of the islands, they're going through a birth rate problem. I know Puerto Rico was, and we didn't hear anything about that. I, and the only reason why I know about that is because it came out after Hurricane Maria swept through there. And a lot of the people left the islands and came to mainland America to live. And they said they had a birth rate problem in Puerto Rico. They weren't reproducing. And Mexico is going through a low birth rate and many parts of South America. So what we are looking at is a global phenomenon. You know, I think this is a real true changing of the guard that we are witnessing. You know, these are one of the things that we never witnessed before in our lifetime, but we are certainly seeing it now. And I can tell you, with all of the drug use, plus no babies coming, the suicides are up, and you have the baby boomers dying out. And you got the young simultaneously dying out with the old because of the drug usage. It's going to be some dramatic changes in America. Dramatic. Things are not going to turn out the way people are projecting in their heads. They may have one idea, but I'm telling you, our Heavenly Father got another. You know, we've been at the bottom for so long, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one direction we can go in, and that's to the top, and we are going to go to the top, <laughs> and there's not going to be anybody to stop it. You know, all the scare tactics and all that, that's going to be out the window. You're not going to have the numbers to keep that mess going. So I guess it's really true when they say people are dying at alarming rates, young and old. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I mean, these articles are coming out. There's a lot of them. And I anticipate seeing this kind of stuff even going into uh, 2020. Especially when the election comes, you're going to hear it even more. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.